Well, how do you there, chums? We're playing the Voyager's Redux, and I'm at my base that I've made, which is lovely and jubbly. Now, I'm actually thinking about heading back to a previous system just to get the Storm Crystals before I venture forth, because I forgot to pick them up on that. I told you to pick them up. Well, you probably have. I friggin' didn't. Anyway, some of these plants, they look like they've grown now, so I only need to harvest three. Or is it six? I can't remember. I think it's six, actually. I keep going. I won't harvest all of them if I can help it. There we go. Six plants harvested. So you can come here and harvest some plants, people, anyway. It's on that lush world inside of this system. Lovely jubbly. Let's go and pop that badge. Where is it? It's inside of there. So yeah, so I'm in the Rendezvous 1 system at the moment. And I should be able to teleport straight back here. Yeah, so I'm just on Rendezvous 1. Let me just, just double check that I am in the right system. So this is Rendezvous 1 system. I need to go to this ice planet, and I also need to go to the shell-strewn planet to pop two other milestones. So I will be back here, and I want to go to the system that had... I want the one system that's discovered by Hello Games, not that one. This one, and I want to go back to that planet there. Okay, so this is in system Sepatin Aran X22. Okay, cool, yeah. And Obsipia Prime. All right, fine. Let's go see if we can do that. Station, 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 space station. There we go, Sipia. Hold on. Did that say current system? Yeah, it says current system. Uh, what the fudge? One second, people. Okay. So the system I'm in now is this one. All right, so I want to go to this system. Why is it still showing SEPTRN then? That's weird. Obsipia Prime, yeah. What the devil is going on? Okay, I have no idea what's going on there, people, but it's, it's the very first system that we wanted to go to. So space stations. And I guess I'm going to just guess this one then, because it's all knackered up. Pretty weird. All right, we're going there then. Let's just hope it's the right one. OK, now it's showing the right one at the top. Ormond Girigig. There we go. And it's there that I want to go to. This game sometimes, people, it, it's held together by sticky tape and a frickin' prayer. Anyway, I'll head on down to that planet and we'll see if we can get those storm crystals, people. Then I can just head back to my base and then we know exactly where we are. Radio. Now, it looks like it's covered in cloud right now. It might be a storm as we hit, people, if we're lucky. Which might not give me much time to grab my storm crystals. Let's just get straight down and land as quick as we can. It looks like a storm is raging right now. Yes, look, there's lightning and everything. This is perfect timing. Let's just hope the storm doesn't end as soon as I land. There's a storm crystal right there. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. And there's three. Don't you end, storm. One, two, three. Done. Heck yes. Brilliant. Eh? Now I can just head back to the station now. <laughs> And uh, jump back to my base. That was freaking lucky, wasn't it, people? There we are. I knew I'd forget something during this. Hopefully you guys didn't, though, because when I was on this planet, I said, I'm just waiting for the storm. I'm waiting for the storm. Then I got distracted and ended up doing something else because I'm like a magpie when I spot something shiny, shiny. Anyway, that's my schoolboy error. Hopefully you didn't make the same one. But if you did, that's how you can cure it. And would you look at that? That's what gives you the wonder projector plans. Brilliant. So when I go back to my base, technically I could put down the wonder projectors there, couldn't I? I could in Deedy Doody. It gave us a load of pre-packaged stuffage as well, so I can slap that in there. Lovely. What else did it give us? It gave us something. Pre-packaged advanced mining laser! Heck yes! Brilliant, eh? Right, I'm just head through the portal. Back to my base, people. Okay, yeah, right, now I'm back at my base, I might as well put down this Wonder Projector, mightn't I? So where do I find the Wonder Projector, though? That's a good freaking question, isn't it? You know what, I'm going to put down an Appearance Modifier anyway. Because what we can do with the Appearance Modifier is put on that new Jetpack Trail that we just got. Lovely jubbly, and we've got... Oh, great, not enough in power. What the flying fudge? Okay, alright. There you are. Let's uh, connect it onto here and give it power, then. There we are. 
Now can I do it? Yes, I can. Okay, jetpack, jetpack. Lovely, lovely. And I want custom jetpack. Trial the electric one. There we are. We'll have that. Thank you very much. So we just got that for completing phase one. That's what you got, people. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? It's on my thumbnail. Thank you, yes. Lovely jobs. I've got an itchy nose. Itchy nose. Right, okay. Wonders projector. Where the fudge are we going to find that when it's at home, then? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Wonders projector. It's under the flag. I can't build it, but there is that little trick, you know, where you press the wire mode and just slap it down. Did it do it? There it is. Done. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to put in this wonder projector. I've already set one of my custom wonders, which is that walker. That gave me the pH blood and also the uh, hooves of thunder. And it's also on that toxic planet where we just were. So when people hit this up now, they should get to see everything that's lovely about it. When you go in there, look, it should, as you hover over it, give you all the display. Display wonder. Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Normally it does, anyway. Coolio. Well, let's collect that then. Nice. Oh, did I just get every single coloured warp blueprint? I think I freaking did. Nice. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, I, I've, I've got to build them out, though. Got loads of planetary charts. Very swanky, very swanky indeed. All right, well, I only need the idiom drive. And I need emerald. I'm sure I got gifted 250 emerald when doing the, the quest earlier. Or maybe it's another badge that I popped on my opposite save. It probably is, isn't it? Anyway, let's put this into my exosuit. Let's spin that up anyway, into nanites. Might as well get rid of them. Nice. Boom. Thank you very much. And... right eh? Well... Okay, just bear me one moment, people. Okay, right, well, I'm going to head on up to the station. Then I'm going to head to the cold planet. And we're also going to head to the exotic planet in this system. Now, the reason I'm heading to the station is I want to see whether there are any other, like, Viking, Korvacs in here. If we can complete the Gek language set, he actually gifts us the Emerald um, for getting that badge. So I'll see you inside the station. I think I've got to speak to one more Viking, so let's just pray and hope there's a Viking in here, because this is another Gek system, funny enough, people. Yeah, I can see a Viking up there, we're good. And we've also got to speak to, I think, another four Korvax. Well, I don't think we're going to manage that in this station, but I could be wrong. Let's head on up here then, let's go and speak to a, a uh, Viking. If we can... I saw one over here, I saw a taller guy amongst all these. There we are. Lovely. Not you, you're a traveller. I want to speak to this chap. Yeah, him. Hello, mate. Yeah, just one word, please. Lovely. That should pop the badge. Any second now? Any second now? There we go. Cool, yeah. If I go into here, lovely, lovely. I can pop that. That's going to give us a load of emerald. 444 emerald. Is that enough to install what I need to install on my ship? Let's go to Starship into there yes it is now how many how many wiring looms do i need five five wiring looms well let's head on over then let's get that installed then bye and i want five wiring looms please one two three four five Chikaboom. okay sell then let's sell a few things first uh, um i'll just sell the dehydrogen for now bye Right, right. I want. I would like the wiring looms, please. Chick a boom, and then I'm going to be installing that in my starship right away. Chick a pow, and done. Now that can jump to blue systems, red systems, every system known to man. Perfect. Okay, and we can also expand the storage on my multi tool, and also on the ship. Now, I've run out of technology slots on that ship, so that's probably a lucky thing that I can expand the slottage. Let's go do the multi-tool first. Chickaboom. Yes, install multi-tool expansion slot. Now, I could have duplicated these if I really wanted to. I could have gone to town on it, you know, really sort of you know, glitched out the game. Up to you if you want to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm heading over here. 
Bum bum bum. We'll do the same with the ship. Upgrade ship. Fly augmentation. And I'm going to put it in technology up there. There we are. Done. Now you can buy slots with the amount of nanites I've got anyway. You know, I can do that. So I'll just buy a couple of slots. Uh, 10,000 nanites a throw though. Huh? What the? Hey, what the? That was a bit weird. Oh, well, I guess I've run out of money. Oh, I upgraded the class. <laughs> All right, fine. Sweet. Well, there was one Corvax I could talk to over here as well, wasn't there? I might as well talk to the one Corvax quickly as well, people. There he is, right there. Hello, buddy. Sorry I neglected you. Uh, right, well, that would bring it down to I need three more Corvaxes to talk to now. All right, well, I think we're good. I think we're good there. Right, so we've got two planets to visit in this system, people. So, I want to go to the Cold World. And I also want to go to this world right here, the shell-strewn planet. Is there anything else I could try? Oh, tropical. Oh, no, that's that's not like a... Hmm, that's, that's not a lush world. That's one of those swamp ones, I think. Okay, well, that was the Fongal world. What's this one over here? flame ruptured planet okay well, that could be pretty hot that might give me the hot blooded creature that i might need could try there for the hot blooded one let's just spin this around uh i know that i need the shell strewn one frost crystal we go there we get the coldest planet first people yeah now sometimes it pops a badge as soon as you break atmosphere other times you have to land and get out of the ship it's a bit of a weird one. I mean, look, it says coldest temperature there. Oh, look, didn't even have to land. Perfect. All right, well, that's fine then. We can just pop that badge. Lovely. Supreme scanning system pre-packed trade rocket unit. Nice. Okay. Scanner module. Very good. Okay, where's this other little planet? I just need to go to that exotic sort of little, little planet now, people. Is that planet Lammy? Or I am he. Anyway, we're going there. Right, we're... Oh, look, they've spawned right in front of me. These little guys. There we are. Just going to upload that. And that should give us the exotic beasties. We only need two exotic beasties. There we go. Exotic beasties. Grabdicated. Who goes? Splendiferous. Was there any plan... I think I've already checked to see if there was any with um, ancient bones on in this system. I don't believe there is. Magnetized ferrite, no ancient bones. No, nope. I think we're good for this system then, people. I think we're going to press on on. Yeah, well, let's take to the skies and let's uh, jump systems. Sweet. Okay, we can pop that badge. I forgot. There we are. Done. Nice. Sorted glitches. This is really going to fill out my inventory space a little bit quick, isn't it? So we go. We're going to head to there then, which is Rendezvous Two. Uh, let's see if we can do it in one jump. Now that I've got all my warp drives in, I'm hoping I can. Meow. Hiya! Well, that's a red system right there. We could have jumped there to get the red system unlocked, Kated, I guess. Let's see if we can just move it there. Can I make it all the way there? And it's a Corvax system. Perfect. We're going to the station and learn Corvax. I'll see you in the station, people. Oh, this nebula's beautiful, isn't it? These greeny, bluey colours. Very cool, very cool indeed. Well, let's go and learn some Corvax, and then I'll be right back with you, people. Okie pokey. Well, I've only got to learn three more words. So let's talk to you. Request dialect help. I'll let you know when I get to the last one, people, just as we're about to pop the badge. Okay, I'm on the last one. Sweet. Corvax symbol. Lovely jubbly. Done that. That's all good. Yes, five Corvax words learnt, located. Okay, where am I going? I'm going to just expand my exosuit storage since this is a new station. Why the fudge not? Hello there, my Corvax friend. Yes, done. Thank you very much. 
Lovely. Now I have got loads of technology I can install, like this trade rocket. Let's go stick that over there. Starship. What else have I got? Oh, scanner module. Don't mind if I do. Lovely jubbly. In fact, I'm going to move that there. Move this out of the way. Put that there. A little bit of shenanigans. But that boosts my um, capabilities of my scanner, which is quite nice. Oh, yeah, I needed to claim that reward. Divergence cube and some memory fragments. Okay. Memory fragments, where are you? There they are. I'll pop those. Oh, optical drill. Lovely. So, suit. What else did I get? Did I get anything lovely? No, I got this. Prepackaged technology. It might help if we have to go on a derelict freighter, that. You know what? Let's stick two of them in there then. And what's this? What's this when it's at home? Sentinel weapon technology. Well, I haven't got a bolt caster, so that's going to do a freaking nothing. All right, okay. Well, I think we're about good with technologies and package stuffage. What's this? I don't really need that. I could sell that. What's this one? Ah, I could sell that too. Yeah, let's go sell those just so I've got some free slottage before we move on. Lovely, lovely. Uh, purchase and sell. Sell and sell. Thank you! Thank you very much! Okay, well what interesting planets are inside of this system anyway? So, lovely. Fungal mold. Abandoned planet. Oh, okay. Alright, so we've got a few interesting ones here. Hmm. Isotopic. Violent. And acrid. 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 What's acrid when it's at home? There's so much I need to Google. Anyway, we're heading over to the actual rendezvous point. Was this one the Colossal Archive one? I think it is. If it is, I can show you my little sneaky man sneaky sneak. Let's go. We're en route, I guess. Oh, and it just popped up most perfect. How is this a perfect planet? It's far from it. Um, it hasn't popped a badge, though, for being most perfect. Rendezvous 2. I'm wondering whether it might be where this comms ball popped up. Usually the first comms ball that pops up in nearby vicinity is where you got to go. There we are. Haha! <laughs> Sometimes the comms balls can be quite handy. Oh, something I didn't tell you guys to do was to go into network settings and make sure you've disabled your multiplayer and your PvP, okay? Make sure that they're off. Cool, yeah. Anyways, am I recording? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good. And let's jump on out of the ship. Happy New Year from Uruguay and from Australia. Well, hello, those places. And Germany's. Oh, my days. Okay. And from the UK. I'm there. Okay, here you go. Here's my little tip for you. Head on over to this local repository and print a chart. Okay, yeah. Print chart, no nights, lovely. Okay, now you've got that planetary chart, find it inside your inventory. You've been given loads of charts, so it can be a little bit fun to find. Oh, where is it? There it is, right there. Plot root. And what this is going to do is it's going to find you a relic site straight away. Perfect for getting the, your, the relic um, badge on popped. Otherwise, you've got to rely on chart maps. You've got to go and find the, uh, knowledge from the past. All that sort of shenanigans. It's a right faff. Anyway, let's go. Chinese love, everyone. Okay, well, thank you for your Chinese love. Okay, uh, I'm just going to pop my badge as well. Here we are. Where is it? Place two. Click that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, we've got some more slottage, have we? Okay, you can go there. Let's take to the skies. More storage augmentation means I've got to visit another station. We'll do that on the next jump. Okay, here we go. Relic site is around this way. I don't want to clamber into that freaking archive. I did anyway. If you go up through the atmosphere, up where there is no friction in your ship, you can fly that a little bit faster and get to places a little bit quicker. If you go through the double cloud layer, you can actually pulse to it as well, which saves a heck of a lot of time, like that. Boom! Try not to land right on top of the relic site, sort of land on the outskirts, because you don't want to land where there's a chest. And when I say where there's a chest, you also need to pick up these keys. They're not actually knowledge stones, they're keys. So lock onto them. And use your terrain manipulator. 
dig down to them and grab them. They look like little lunch boxes. Now there's three of these keys to be had. There's the first one. You sh I showed you the other two. So I'm just going to dig these up. There's one and there's the other one over there. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've dug up three keys. Now you can usually find four keys here. So if one is sort of glitched out. Oh my days, they're quite big, aren't they? They might have actually managed to get you the hooves of thunder, maybe. I don't know. Oh, creature with highest body temperature so far. Interesting, considering this isn't a hot planet at all. Okay, all right. Now I'm looking for a large chest. Buried cache. I don't know whether that's it, actually. Let's have a look around. It's that one there. Large artifact crate. That's what you want. Okay, let's dig here. Brilliant. Now, that creature that I just scanned has got the hottest blood temperature so far. I might continue scanning a few creatures on this planet, just in case one of them pops the highest blood temperature. Let's go over to the expedition. So, done that one. Hunter killer, I've got to do that one yet. We haven't done that. Excavate an ancient dig site. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. Did I not open the chest? I did, but I didn't pick up the treasure. I exited. What an idiot. There you go. That should pop the badge. That was lucky that I double-checked. There we are. Pop that. Lovely, lovely. Atlas pass set. Brilliant. Okay. Let's scan a few more creatures on this planet. I've just got a feeling that it might pop the creature with the highest blood pressures or whatever. The temperature. This one here. Over 52 degrees. Right, let's give it a go. That one's 40 degrees. Even closer now, people. All right, well, it's not quite daytime. Daytime is coming around, though. What sort of planet is this one? It's a cactus flesh. It was a cactus flesh planet that did it for me last time I was on an expedition. Heaviest flying creature. No, I was hoping to get the highest blood temperature, to be fair. Alright. Well, I might have to wait till daytime, but this, this has got promise. So, I'll let you know if I manage to trigger it. Hold on, chums. I just saw a creature take out this giant frickin's thing. What creature just took out that walker? That must be a predator. Okay, let's go and see. I'm scanning you. Are you a predator? Hello? I guess not. But it just killed another creature, so... I kind of half expected that one to be a predatory creature. I just saw it kill that walker. It's going in for another bite, anyway. I'm going to kill it. Let's see if that does anything. No. Alright, okay, well, there's still a few more creatures to spot on this planet, but I'm not having much luck at the moment with either Predator or Hottest Blood, but I'm getting so close to that Hottest Blood record on this planet at the moment. Cactus Worlds might be the safest bet. Well, I've done all the creatures on this planet apart from the underground ones, and I'm not going to bother looking for them, because they can take, like, a miracle to spawn in. So, sadly, I got really close, though. Look, 48! 48, 48 to 52! That was close. Right then, chums. Well, I think I'm going to visit a red star system and just hope that it's got another cactus world. Because if it is, it might pop this pH blood thing because I got so close with this one. So I'm going to try another cactus system. And I might as well just jump to a red star just before we go to the next rendezvous. And I might as well do the blue one as well because I've now got my idiom drive installed. So here we go. Straight to the galactic map. Boom. We're just looking for a red star system. Look, there's one right there. We'll go there. Okay, it's got water in this system. I've still got to scan a couple more underwater creatures, actually. Let's hope there's a cactus weld with water. So hopefully when I emerge at the opposite side of here, it should automatically pop the red star system. Oh, look, there's a lovely planet down there with water. There you are. Done. Red skies. Visited a red star. Perfect. Okay, well, let's, um, let's claim that badge then. Chikapow! Let's have a look see if there's any cactus flesh wells here. That looks like it's a star bramble world. Is it paradise, though? 
Mismatic. No, that's going to be one of those swamp worlds. All right. What are you? Are you a cactus world? Oh, look, it says paradise. It says paradise and star bowl. All right, people. Well, if this does hit the paradox. Whoa, fudge and heck. Get out of there before they can finish scanning me. Get bags. No, you don't. No, you're not having it. It's mine. Fudge off. Okay, right, I'm going to land here. Let me out. Hopefully they go away. So this says Paradise World. Ah, I don't think it's Paradise enough, though. No, it's not Paradise enough. All right, well, anyway, we can scan a couple of water creatures here, people. The Paradise one is becoming a little bit of an annoyance. I mean, this this is definitely a, a lovely world. All right, okay. Anyway, I've got to scan a few creatures. Ah! Why did you despawn on me? Oh, maybe they only show up at daytime when I've landed on the night side of the planet because I was forced to land quickly. Okay, so that's a little sort of crab creature. Nice. Oh, there we go. I only needed one. Perfect. Well, you can do that on any planet with water. I was just forced to land here. And because it looked like Paradise Planet, I thought the chance of it being a Paradise Quotent Planet would do the freaking trick. But no. Okay, coolio. Oh, look, there's a farty fish as well. Very nice creatures to be had. All right, people. Well, if you do want to know what this system is anyway, I'll put the actual coordinates in the bottom left corner. Not that you really need to come here. That said, there might be a cactus world inside of this system. Uh, let's have a quick look-see. It's hard to tell from the outskirts. Cadmium. Dunno, dunno, dunno. I'll just go scan these and see. No, there was none there, but now I'm going to go to a blue, a blue star. It's hard to tell which ones are blue for me. I don't know whether I'm colourblind or something. But that looks purple to me rather than blue. They all do, actually, don't they? All right, well, is it dissonant? That one says dissonant. Let's try one that doesn't say dissonant. Let's try that one. Is it blue or is it purple? Who friggin' knows? We're going there. It'd be nice if it came up in brackets, wouldn't it? What colour it was. OK, well, we've arrived, Kated. Let's see if this pops in the blue barge. It did. Brilliant. Cool. So that's the two uh, colours done. Expedition. Pop that one. Now, I was thinking it would be nice if we can actually get the other creatures on, like, the actual expedition path. Otherwise, you guys have got to use a portal to get here. Although, you have to actually travel through a portal anyway, so you could hit up a code that I actually give. Uh, what's that one over there? Let's try scanning some planets once it's finished doing what it's doing. Oh, I haven't claimed that badge either. Let's claim that one then. Sweet! Yeah, I just want to scan some planets. I'm just going to scan them and see if there's anything worth landing on. You know, I'm just going to press on. I'm just going to press on. I'm not I'm not going to land on any planets here. We're just going to go for the rendezvous. Because somebody in my messages told me that you will find all the creatures as long as you go to the rendezvous planets and spend a bit of time on them. So we'll just go to rendezvous free and we'll see how we go. Also, I've watched Scottish Rod's video with his top tips and he encounters everything going to the rendezvous points. There's no need to jump through portals. So I put a link up there to Scottish Rod's video. OK, people, so be sure to check that out. It's a very good video. OK, so here we go, because he shows another creature for who's a thunder. You know, I got lucky when he shows a secondary creature. So if you're struggling with who's a thunder, definitely hit up Rod. So here we go and jump into rendezvous free. OK, we've arrived at Rendezvous 3. Now what I'm going to do, people, is just turn around, fly inside of the station, upgrade my exosuit, and also I got given expansion slots for my ship and multi-tool yet again. I'm going to put those in, and I might sell some of the junk at the Galactic Trade Terminal. But you know what you're doing on all of that. Do the same if you want to. It also adds the station to your teleporter list, just in case you miss something. OK, Jums. Now, it's given us a load of baked goods. Now, I think the very first time that we did this, we had to actually bake a cake. But I've just looked at every single badge, and we don't need to bake a cake. So I'm going to get rid of the refined flour and the processed sugar. I honestly don't think I need them. If I do, then I'm just going to have to get the ingredients again. But I just went for every badge, and it's not there. So that could be cool. 
Okay, righto. I'm going to press on on. Oh look, here's some more orange cubes that I mentioned earlier. There we go, that gives you navigational data. We've got quite a lot of chart maps. We probably won't need it, but just in case we do, who knows. Right, I'm going to head to Rendezvous anyway. Rendezvous free. Let's go. Take to the skies. And I'll see you at Rendezvous free. Okay, right, I'm heading down and I'm just looking to see if I can see any comms balls sort of spawn in. I mean, there's a crashed freighter there, but I think this one is the portal one. This is pretty much where I got to in my first playthrough, people. Yeah, I lost all that footage. I was going to do it in two halves. I think this one is still going to be two halves, and I think I've done it at a more sensible place now. Okay, so there's some comms balls here. Quite a lot of comms balls at that. There we go, there's the portal right there. It wasn't far from the marker this time. The first time I wasn't so lucky. I had to wait for a while for this to spawn in. Lovely jubbly. Now there's quite a lot of bases in close proximity here, so if you haven't grown your own plants, now would be a good time to grab them. And if you've watched Scottish Rod's video, you'd see that he placed a base only 600 views away from this portal, so it might be worth giving his base a view. <laughs> I agree. This expedition definitely is the worst. Okay, let's, um, let's see if we can fully charge this. I might run out of resources. Oh, fudge. I haven't got some resources. I'll be right back when I've got the right resources, people. Okay, well, there's a storm incoming. I think I've got enough resources now, but let's give it another try. There we go. Chapow. Oh, great. Got to use some emerald on there. Fun times. Oxygen. Get all this in. I wish there was just a centre button that just distributes, like here, click there, and it does the whole lot. If you've got it all, it does it in one. And it just uses the base level one, you know? So if it, if you had copper, it would use copper. If it's got carbon, it would use carbon, you know? Okay, there we are. Now I'm just gonna activate portal, and I'm just gonna put in the first, the first digit. Cool. This is exactly what Scottish Rod did as well. I did this on the first one too. And the other one was actually in Eisentam. It wasn't in this system. So if you try to use all the planets from Eisentam to get all the creatures and get all the badges, it's not going to work because we're actually in the Euclid system right now, people. So yeah, I was thinking we could do this super quick. Not the case. Oh, hold on. Is this a cactus world? It looks like a cactus world to me, people. I think it is. It might be worth me scanning a couple of creatures here to see if I can get the um, hottest blood or whatever. Yes, it's cactus flesh. I, I'll be here for a second. Oh, there's natural burial site here as well for like, um, you know, ancient bones, which I was mentioning earlier. I was sure I read that there was a milestone for ancient bones. There's not. <laughs> there's not one for ancient bones. It was ancient burial sites. It's me and my dyslexic brain, people. Okay, well, let's head on over here then. Let's uh, go collect that one. Sweet. And I think this is a red system as well. Or at least it was for Rod when he came through here. I don't know whether it is or isn't for me at the moment. Um, it doesn't look like it is. It's a green system for me. So yeah, it's random chance really, people. So it might not be a good idea for me to scan hot-blooded creatures on this planet, I actually come to think of it. In fact, I'm not seeing any bloody creatures anyway. It must be one of those uncharted systems that doesn't have any creatures abandoned. Anyway, OK, we're going to head back through then. Back through the keyhole. I guess. OK, people, well, I'm at the opposite side again. We've got to jump back through the old portal and we've arrived at Kated. Now, I'm, I'm flying to a planet called Raver Bridge or Raider Bridge right here. Uh, so in Discoveries, Raider Bridge, Raider Bridge. Now, on my first playthrough, all the footage I lost, I flew to this and I'm fairly sure it popped me the, the perfect planet milestone. And I think it could be a bug, but I watched Scottish Rod's video. He went to this planet. The same thing happened to him. So let's see if it happens again, people, because maybe Hello Games has just fudged up. I mean, this was the sort of thing that was annoying me in the first Expedition playthrough, not the Redux. Creatures weren't appearing on the planets you that you'd expect them to. I mean, you would think that if this is a lava world, which it is because it's got pyrite on it, hopefully we get the highest pH blood creature here as well. We'll see. Let's see if it pops the most perfect planet, which this is not the perfect planet. This should not be classed as a paradise planet. Most perfect. Yeah. What the actual fudge. 
This is not a paradise world. As you can see, it's a lava planet. It, sh it shouldn't have popped that milestone. It shouldn't have popped that badge. That's freaking insane. Okay. I, I landed on I landed on a paradise world the earlier. It actually said paradise in the freaking description. That This is what annoys me about this expedition, people. Oh, salvage data times 32. An interstellar fancy. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, let's just pop this down anywhere on this planet. Okay. Now, I think there's a good chance we might be able to get the high pH blood creature here. So let's scan a few creatures. I'll let you know if I get lucky, okay? Now, on my first playthrough, where I lost all the footage, I came across a bone cat that was a hunter-killer. Scottish Rod found a hunter-killer on this planet, which looks like a crab. Ah, there we go, hot-blooded. Nice one. Excellent. I think Scottish Rod found this one too. Okay, uh, let's go into here. pH blood. Nice one. And that's actually all of phase two done now. So I can claim phase two. Expedition. Phase two. Sweet. Okay. Now I've just got to find this crab creature. Is it night time right now? It's getting late. It might not show up in, unless it's daytime. I might have to fly to the, the light side of the, of the planet, people. Okay, let's go fly to the light side of the planet. I can hear creatures screaming though, like they're being attacked, but there's nothing there attacking them and I'm not seeing any other red dots. All right, I'll go to the light side of the planet because I want to see if I can find this crab creature here that Scottish Rod found, of course. And that will pop the hunter killer. All right, see you at the light side of the planet, see you in the daytime. Okay, now the odd thing is, is there's only two more creatures for me to find on this planet. Both of them are showing underground. When Scottish Rod found his, his was on the surface. So it looks like if you're not finding the creature on the surface, people, you're going to have to find a cave. Okay, there's a cave over here. I'll go and have a look and see if I can find this git bag of a creature. But trust me, cave dwelling creatures are a git to spawn. And seeing that Scottish Rod had his spawn on the planet's surface, he may have just been a lucky, lucky Scottish Rod the Rods. Okay, this could take freaking years. I think there's a problem with under underground spawning creatures. Especially on planets like... Oh, hold on. What we got up there? We've got some red dots. Hopefully it's them. There's two types of underground creature, though. Knowing my luck, it's going to be the wrong one. Yeah. Um, it's the wrong one. Dang it! Okay, let's head on through cave and let's see if we can find more underground creatures. But this, I could be here for hours. I'll let you know when I find it. Okay, if you run out of cave, look for a humming sax. Lock on to humming sax because humming sax are a good indication that there is a cave nearby. And yeah, I've been looking now for a good 10-15 minutes without any luck. I found one crab species, but it wasn't the right crab. When you do find a cave on this planet, they are pretty impressive, though. So, you know, searching for a creature in caves this impressive, it's... Although it's a hardship, it's not as bad as it could be. We could have got really dull caves, but these caves are quite nice. But as you can see here, I'm not seeing many creatures spawning in. Now, it says that it's always active, okay? The only trouble is, you can see here, it's now 11 o'clock at night on the side scanner. Actually, you can't because I'm in the way, but trust me, it's 11 o'clock. I think I'd have more luck if it was daytime. I, I know that it says always active, but I don't think that's always correct. That's what I'm getting at, people. I bet if I were standing here in the daytime, I'd have better luck of the creature actually spawning in. It's just one of those things. You get the higher spawn rates in the daytime, even if it is always active. Hold on. There we go. It's right there. It's right round this corner, apparently. Okay, I'm going to drill through the wall. Stay there. I'm coming to thee. It's not far. It's the only last creature I've got left to find. So, 45 views. Come on. There it is. I'm excited to find it. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. There we are. We found him. So he is a cave-dwelling critter. Okay. 
It, it does exist and it does appear at night time. Right now on my clock it shows at half past midnight. I was thinking we was going to be here all freaking day and all night. I was here for a good half an hour total though, so you know there is that, um, which does suck slightly. Okay, well I can claim that then. Sweet! Oh, I claimed all of those. All done. Phase two reward. Well, where? Which one? Oh, yeah, Hunter Killer. Hooey! Okay. How many more milestones have we got left to do now? I don't think we've got many left. Okay, expedition. Phase three. We've done all of phase three. Did I claim that? I have. Phase four. We've just got to go there, go through a black hole. And acquire, acquire salt. Uh, gold from salt. Acquire aquatic treasure. All right, okay, well, let's get out of here. And let's um, let's go to our uh, expedition. I wish it would stop putting me on my discoveries freaking page all the time. We've done rendezvous three, so we're going to go to a rendezvous four. All right, let's go there. Let me out of here. I don't know how deep I am underground. Go in deeper underground. Okay, okay. Galactic map. And kaboom. Can I make it all in one jump? I can. If you can't, just press circle and see if you can, you know? Unlock the map. Anyway, we're jumping there. Sweet! Right, well, we've arrived, Akated. I'm just going to fly into the station, put in my upgrades, all that sort of shenanigans, and then I'll see you down at the rendezvous point. Ah! I'm getting battered by blinking meteorites. I don't want to shoot them. Because I might accidentally shoot the station and a load of sentinels will turn up and my ship is still greatly underpowered. Okay, I've installed a load of modules and things that I had laying about, you know, the tech to install. And this is just the last upgrade slot. There you go. And I might as well stick it there just in case I get another scanner module. There you go. Sweet! Okay, I mean, you can see here, my multi-tool is looking a lot better. My starship's looking pretty cool and so is my exosuit. Cool, yeah. Oh, what's this? Ah, that's for um, submersibles. All right, cool, yeah. I could sell stuff, but at this point in time, I don't think I overly need to. What I need to find is an underwater relic site at some point as well, people. So, yeah. Anyway, well, let's just go to the rendezvous and we'll work out how to do that in a bit. Tally ho, and away we go. Okay, we're going to be breaching the atmosphere in a moment. I'm going to be looking for uh, some sort of comms balls for this rendezvous. Righto. Oh, it looks like it's out at sea. There's a comms ball right there on this little island. Let's go land on that little island then. But i got a feeling this next rendezvous could be under the water, people. Alright, there we go. Let's uh, land here. Lots of videos, jugs. Oh, what the fudge was that? Look at that structure over there. What the flying fudge? That's a really cool structure. Oh, it's one of these rings on side. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, anyway. 600 U's this way. Seriously? Okay. Swimming is slow as fudge. I'm trying to stay above the water as far as I can. Plop. Let's go. All right. Oh, this way slightly. All right, fine. We should be there fairly quickly. I'll let you know when I get there. You know what? I'm just going to get some pearls, just in case we need a trident key. Oh, I was too far away there. I got it anyway. We should only need one. Okay. This way. So 300 odd years. And I've all... Oh no, I, I don't know whether I've got the... Um... No, the, the other stuff that you need. Right, anyway, we'll just carry on. How far are we now? There's not many of those clams around here. Okay, there we are. Swim, swim, swim. I'll let you know when I get there, people. Okay, well, we've arrived, Akated. Brilliant, eh? I'm going to pop the thing. The thing for the thing. It has. Right, well, let's let's claim that badge, then. Bam, bam, bam. Badge claimed. Ah! What the fudge happened there? Okay. Okay, I need to I need to get some oxygen like pronto. Where's all the blanking kelp sacks? You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna put a beacon there so I can get back to it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Why are there no kelp sacks? Okay. There's some more. Let's just swim up through the freaking surface and get some oxygen that way. I don't want to die! Oh my days. There we are. Get some oxygen back that way, people. That sucks. There's hardly any kelp sacks near this thing. Well, you know what? Have I still got that that crud that crud underwater protection terminal? I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd need it. Damn it. Okay. All right. Here we are. Then. Let's swim down here. Yeah. Could have done with that freaking thing to stick here now, couldn't I? Has someone put a poxy base on top of this? Oh, they have. Oh, you idiot. I'm I'm probably not going to be able to dig up the ground now. All right. Fine. Let's give it a go anyway. I might have to report the base. I don't like reporting bases, but if they put them in stupid places, it's the only thing you can do. Here we go. This should give me a trident key. Trident key. Because we've got to get the underground aquatic treasure. All right, so here we go. Let's see if we can dig it up. I bet we can't because of this base that's on it. Yeah. No, look. Okay, right, if you get that, people, go into here and go to report base. Continue. Ah! I didn't report it properly. You've got to take a screenshot. So I'm going to take a screenshot of it being at the frickin' relic site. R2. R2 isn't bloody working. Yeah, it's not R2, it's X. Fix your buttons, hello games. I'm going to drown. There we go. Let's go and unlock that with our trident key. That's why you needed the pearl. There you go. Got to use the trident key. Got the rare item. There we are. Gold from salt. There we are. Let's head on back to my ship. That's so annoying. People building bases. During the expedition, on an actual point of interest. Hello games has put in their patch notes that they've fixed out a couple of times. They really haven't. Fudge and heck. Alright, come on. Let's get out of here. Can I... I don't think I can... No. no. I did have some kelp sacks on me, but there you are. Okay. Claim that then. Oh no, I'm sinking again. They need to fix that too. There's a lot of things they need to fix. Whenever you claim a badge... You sink like a ton of bricks. It's like gravity doesn't exist. Freaking weird bug. My gosh. A lot of weird little bugs. Anyway, I'm going to head on up to the anomaly because I need to jump through a black hole now. Actually, I'm thinking I might not want to jump through a black hole just yet. If I did jump through a black hole, it's going to take me to another system. Then I'm going to have to jump back to my base. My base is quite a fair few systems back. I think I might do the black hole jump last. I think I might just go to um, Rendezvous 5 and come back to that one. Because I've only got to do Rendezvous 5. We'll do Rendezvous 5. Yep. Made up my decisions. Let's go to Rendezvous 5 first rather than do the black hole. Meow. I'm going to do the black hole last. Then we set up all of our fireworks. It'll be nice. Yeah. There we go. There we are. Rendezvous 5. Here we come. We're nearly done, people. This is this is so close to being done right now. On our way. I'm not going to bother flying into the station on this one, I don't think, people. I can always get back here if I really need to. But I don't think I've been given any more expansion slots as yet. I probably will when I touch down at Rendezvous 5 and then go up to the station. No point in doing it now. Anyway, I'm only two seconds away from here. Just bring it in. Lovely. Strongest reality distortion. What the fudge is that all about? I'm wondering whether these reality distortions are going to mean more once we see the Void Mother come into play. I don't know. Just got a feeling that we're going to have to go through failed boundaries at some stage, people inside the viewerverse. This seems to be the closest comms ball to what's going on over there. But I'm not seeing anything of interest by this comms ball. Alright. 
Okay, I guess we're just going to land here and take a look around then, people, for whatever we should be finding. Your report has been submitted. Oh, that's the, the base reporting. Yeah. Hopefully they can work out why I reported it. Okay, right now. I'd imagine a lot of people have reported it. I got ahead 1,200 views this way, people. That's going to take a while. Okay, people, I have got the bolt caster installed now. So if you go over to your bolt caster, fire a shot. And if you press melee and reload at the same time, let's try that again. So that's melee and reload, which is square. Normally, you run faster. It's not happening right now. Looks like they've taken out the melee strafe. Strafe, um, yeah. Looks like they've taken out the glitch running. Well, they didn't last time. I don't think there's been an update, so maybe it's just me. Oh, I didn't have no projection. I didn't have no ammo. I'm missing components. I need, I need a load of ferrite dust. Okay. Alright. Fine, let's get some ferrite dust then. And hopefully I'll be able to get there a little bit quicker. My bad, people. Give me ferrite, ferrite, lovely, lovely ferrite. Okay, right, now if I make some ammos. Oh, still need 50, okay. There's no other bloody rocks around. Okay, here we go. Let's try it now. Okay, and go to my bolt caster. How far have I got to go? I've got a thousand U's to go in this direction. Okay, so if I fire now. There you go. And we can glitch run. We can cover loads of ground this way. And it, while you're glitch running, if you can jump as well, look at that. Yeah, you go freaking miles. You are going to hurt your legs when you land, though. So now I've already got to go 800 U's this way. There we go. Covers a lot of ground a lot quicker, doesn't it? Let's get to the top of this hill and let's have a look where we've got to go now. Alright. Sweet. 700 use that way. I bet it's to that, that, that thing over there in the distance. Alright. Let's freaking leg it there. Meow. Run like the wind, Captain! Meow. Sorry if you can hear me smashing my freaking joypad to smithereens. Let's get you there a little bit bloody quicker. Here we are. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Coolio, there's only one com... There's only, like, two comms balls here. Okay. All right, cool. Well, we've arrived, Decatur. At least I think I have. I'm going to hit the save point. You see... Part of me thinks because this expedition has ended here and we know that the Void Mother is coming soon. I'm wondering whether this is a thing. Your report has been reviewed. Okay, cool. All right, well, hopefully you've done something about it because that, that base is a pain in the neck. Sweet. Done, diddly and done. And claim. They might not see anything wrong with it, because I think it's actually Sony that review it, not Hello Games. Kind of annoying. Okay, there we are. I wish Hello Games knew about these issues of people still building on freaking points of interest. Because this could backfire on me, because I could say, well, you've inadvertently reported something that didn't need to be reported, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I think we've only got to do this one now, enter a black hole. I think that's our last one to be done. But because this ended here, I honestly think something's going to happen with these. I, I could be clutching at straws. Okay, cool, yeah. Is it still recording? It is. Good. Nervous about that. On um, Streamlabs, if you hover over the button, it shows it as red. But it doesn't show a counter. It's a little bit... There needs to be a big red go your live thing at the top. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Up into the skies... Let's call in the old Nexus. And now let's go and ask Polo for a black hole directions. And we'll jump through a black hole. I'll see you up at Polo, people. Well, here he is. Hello, you little amphibious new type looking creature, you. 
Right, okay. Yes, I would like black hole coordinations, my friend. Now, sometimes when you ask for black hole coordinations, he doesn't give you them. Sometimes you have to ask then to go to an atlas and go visit an atlas station and then go back to him and ask for black hole coordinates. It can be a little bit buggy, like a lot of things inside of No Man's Sky. Features, are they or are they bugs? We will never know, people. Let's go to the galactic map and see if it gives us a black hole first try. But yes, I'd imagine a lot of you out there have felt my pain on this one. So here we go, let's go to the old galactic maps. Let's see if it gives us a black hole. Yes, it's worked. Brilliant. Today's a lucky day. Cool, yeah. Now yeah, let's go there. Well, sometimes it's the opposite way around. You want to go to an Atlas station, and before it lets you, you have to go to a black hole location. Weirdness. Anyway, we're on our way. Now, black holes used to be one of the best ways to get to the centre of the galaxy quick. But now there's no portal interference. People can just portal to the centre of the galaxy. So black holes almost serve no purpose. There used to be a whole black hole network, which is now redundant, really. So if we don't go through boundary failures, they could repurpose black holes on how to get into the void and go see the void mother. After all, they've made this sort of animation really, really nice now. Yet no one really bothers jumping through black holes because it usually breaks a bit of your technology. We'll see if it breaks a bit of technology when we emerge at the opposite side. I have got some repair kits, so it doesn't overly matter. And also, I've almost finished this expedition now, so it doesn't overly matter. Okay, are we going to pop the badge? Yes, enter the black hole. Not only entered it, I exited it. Lovely, I'm amazing. It didn't break any tech, by the looks of things. Lovely. Well, there we go. We claim that then. Done. We've got the nice majestic music. Let's go. Let's go land on the dark side of a planet. Oh, I think there's a closer planet right here, and it's the dark side as well. We go land there, and we go let off all of our fireworks and claim all of our other badges. We we'll claim that as well, anyway. Sweet. I guess. Head on down. Nice. Just land here, I think. And go let off some fireworks, claim the rest of the badges. Triumphant musics. Okay, let's just claim everything else. There's the main thing to claim. Make sure you claim that. There you go, we've got the companion egg. And you should get this accept message. If you completed it, you should see this message. Hit accept. If you haven't seen that accept message, then you haven't claimed one of the things. Make sure you claim everything that's yours. And we should have, in our inventory now, a little egg to hatch. Where is it? There it is. Companion register full. Of course it is. Sorry, my lap. Okay, right. Nope. I wanted to set them free. Okay, let's just uh, abandon that one then. There we are. And now I can hatch my egg. Kaboom. We've got a little rabbit. Isn't he lovely? Isn't he wonderful? Heck yes he is. That's why you've done this whole freaking expedition to get one of them. Looks like the thing from batteries not included. You know, let's put sun in the sky. Let's have a better look at him. There he is. He is quite cool. I do like the fact that he's got a torch with him. He does light the way as he goes. Anyway, let's, um, let's set off all of these fireworks then, people. Boom. Thank you very much for watching. There we are. Nice little fireworks display for you all. Fantastic Mondo. We've done it, people. We've done it. We've done this expedition. We've done it. Brilliant. Eh? Okay. Well, there we are. That's that's everything. So, yeah, a massive great big thank you to Scottish Rod that helped with some of these sort of like locations of things. If you haven't seen this video, I did put it up earlier. I'd also put it in the video description so you can hit it up if you're just interested in getting this done as quickly as possible. But, yeah, this was the long playthrough. And I think I might have had a problem during this with some of my footage, but we'll see. Hopefully we've got the main gist of what's going on. But if there's any blanks, you can fill it in using Scottish Rod's vid. Anyway, people, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.